Hello, I'm Emily Spaven. This is your Week in Tech. This week we're filming from Whitespace, a co-working space based at St James Mill in Norwich. In investment news, Nutmeg raised an impressive £30 million Series C. Led by Convoy, the round marks the largest fintech raise since Brexit. Edinburgh-based fintech firm Free Agent floated on AIM, raising £10.7 million. The flotation comes after it raised £1.2 million on Cedars in July last year. Edtech startup Firefly Learning closed a £4.5 million Series A round led by BGF Ventures. Beringia also participated in the round. Other investments this week include the £2 million raised by Hampshire games developer N Dreams and the £1.8 million seed by health tech firm Echo. The NHS had a bit of a disaster this week, with one of its employees accidentally copying everyone on the NHS mail system into an email. The message was sent to 840,000 staff members and the problem was made even worse when recipients kept hitting reply all to complain about the mistake. Overseas, Samsung has agreed to buy US automotive electronics maker Harman International Industries for $8 billion. This marks the largest overseas purchase made by the South Korean tech giant in an attempt to branch out in the area of connected car technologies. Our download of the week is Pay Friends. With the app, users can add their friends by their username, then message them to send and request money. You can top up your PayFriends account with a UK debit card and withdraw to any UK bank account. And finally, forget the latest mod cons and high-tech gadgets, Nintendo is going back to basics with the re-release of its classic mini NES console. It comes with 30 built-in games, meaning you can enjoy a bit of nostalgia with classics like Super Mario Bros, Donkey Kong and Pac-Man. That's all for this episode, so it's goodbye from Norwich. Remember to subscribe for our magazine and follow us on Twitter.